What's going on, geekers and beer drinkers? Episode 32. Houston Astros lost, but we're still going to celebrate. Sorry, Steven. <laughs> this is Geeking and Drinking. Let's go. Okay, let's do this fucking shit. I had to do it. I just had to do it. Sorry. You were there. <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> and welcome to another episode of Geeking and Drinking. Like I said, episode 32. And um, we got a pretty exciting show for you guys today. Uh, as always, I'm Eddie, Steven, and we got a special guest with us today. We got uh, Josh Levine, aka Woo! Slims Inc. Thank so, you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Joining us welcome here today. Welcome. Well, actually. Show. I don't know, is he joining us or are we joining him? We're joining we're him because we are in his either studio. Way, either way, either way. <laughs> yeah, man, we're in his studio right now. Um, don't ask where it's at because I'm not going to tell you. But uh, yeah, man, yeah, we're it's here, dude. I mean, you got, you got your uh, your artwork back here. I'm really, really digging it. You got Tina in the fishbow. Yep, thank you. Love thank it, man. You. How are you doing? Good, good. Good. How are you? Uh, dude, it has been a long day. Long day. We got stuck in traffic. We couldn't find the beer we wanted. Oh. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a day. It's been a day, but we're happy but, to be here. But we still got a good beer to feature today. Yes. so I'm excited for it. It's gonna I'm be, stoked on it. It's gonna be a first for us. Um, but we are featuring Carbox Crawford Bach, um, which is uh, Astro. I mean, Houston Astros. I guess inspired. At least the can logo. is inspired by the um, Houston Astros. I mean. This beer knocks it out of the park, but the Astros didn't. Oh, God. Oh. Shots <laughs> Roasting. <fired. laughs> Roasting. Oh, God. Um, rest in peace, Astros. Hey. Uh, There's always next year, right? Yeah, yeah, always next always year. Next year. <laughs> you sound like the Spurs. Oh. oh it, sound, it sounds like the uh, Dallas <laughs> fans right there. Uh, it's a ABV of 4.5. It's not too bad. I mean, it's for a buck. I mean, but you, like you mentioned earlier, it is all about the flavor. It's got a really, really good flavor to uh, it. Bitterness so. is at an all-time low at 15%. Again, it's, it's all about that flavor and, and keeping it, you know, you don't want too much of a bitterness to it. Um, Plus, it's a, it's a buck beer, too, so it's, it's going to be pretty smooth. Uh, well, I'm it, excited for does it. Does it taste like uh, the Shiner Bug or a little bit less? More or? flavorful. More flavorful. Okay. I think it's a little bit better than the Shiner Bug, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, and, 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 you know, and I'm a big Shiner fan, so. Gotcha. Um, on their website, some uh, recommended pairings <clears throat> as far as food is uh, Stadium Dogs. If you've ever been to a you know, football game, baseball game, more preferably a baseball game, it's just uh, okay. hot dogs. I'm not a fan of hot dogs. I don't know. Uh, what about hot dogs wrapped in bacon? Nope. Oh, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah. uh, Cracker Jacks, peanuts, and nachos. I mean, you're pretty much you're pretty much go to baseball foods. Yeah, it's what you're pairing gotcha. this with because I mean they they want you to drink this at a baseball game. At least not not for this year no more because they lost. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> so uh, anyways, <laughs> moving on. I'm over it. Uh-oh. Uh So. You know, just to give uh, Josh a little, you know, what we do when we open up the beers. We like to uh, kind of hold it in front of us right, right here by the mic the and mic. just crack right. it open. So, okay, okay. Here we go. A little Sounds bit of cheers. Good. Okay, cheers, guys. All right, guys. Cheers. So. Yep, really smooth. Super smooth. Um,. Yeah, guys, we are here, like I said, with episode 32. Um, episode 31, Attack of the Cycle, is now on Psych YouTube. Psych Ward. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> um, fun episode. We had a lot lot of fun filming <clears throat> it. Uh, go check it on YouTube. Like I said, uh, we're still having issues with the audio. It'll be up soon. Don't worry. I'm working on it. And we apologize that uh, if you watched the video that it got cut off for the last five <laughs> minutes, but it's still it's still audible, so <laughs> yeah, uh, it was pretty funny. Yeah, but go watch the episode; it's a lot of fun. Me, me, you can watch mine, Steven's Joker impression. Oh god, <laughs> <laughs> totally forgot gotta we did that. Yeah, yeah, I totally are. forgot we did that, man. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dang, yours, so. yours was so funny, <laughs> super funny. Which one? Who, who? Which Joker were we personally? Oh, Jared, Jared, Jared Leto. Leto. Oh, you, you tried, you committed, and then you just stopped. <laughs> He's the one that uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't hurt me. I'll be your friend. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Josh, man, thank you for inviting us into your home. Um, you know, thank you for inviting into your, you know, in, in, into your uh, your studio. I mean, I I, sure. I love the, I love what you did with I love what you did with the place. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Um, I mean, so tell me. I mean, I'm, this is the first time we met. 
you know, I know you guys met and we've, we've met through, a, you know, um, uh, family, you know, as in my family, you know, you, you met yeah. my family. Um, but I mean, I mean, I want to know, I want to know a little bit more about yourself. I mean, how, how long have you been tattooing? Um, for about six years now. I started in uh, 2013, I think. Uh, so it's been, a it's been pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I I know right now you have your home studio. Have has mm-hmm. it always been you know kind of uh, this kind of setting? Um, in the beginning, yeah, um, I started tattooing uh, out of the house. Just a few friends coming over, having beers, and just Getting knocking drunk. off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not really anything too serious. Um, but I just felt the need to, I guess, take it more serious and into a more professional um, setting and stuff. So. I started uh, looking around, and then I got tattooed at uh, my cousin's uh, shop, uh, Time Bomb. Mm-hmm. I'm military here oh, in San yeah, Antonio. Oh, yeah, I remember Time Bomb. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Cousin? So, what's up? That was your cousin's place? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. so uh, I've never been. I mean, I know where you're talking about. I just never went and got anything done from there. But oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's from, been around yeah, for a minute. Yeah. So I uh, started getting tattooed there, um, and then just started asking them you know hey like what do i need to do what do i gotta you know get set up here whatever um and then they just let me know okay do an apprenticeship you know we'll see what you got and then go from there so that's how i started like in an actual shop professionally just yeah. asking around just doing that and before then like you've, i mean you've always kind of been like a you know drawing or you know yeah 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 um since i was younger um i entered a few uh a few painting contests but Again, I didn't even take it seriously. It was just for fun. Yeah. Um, but uh, always in high school, doodling, just drawing, mm-hmm. uh, whatever I could do, um, and then just kept on with it. That's cool. Um, so, I mean, going from a – one thing I'm always curious about, going from a page to a, a body, you know, whatever, you know. Yeah. Like, How is that going? Like, I mean, because I've, I've you, know, uh, you know, I've watched people – I mean, when I've gotten tattoos, I've kind of, like, watched, like, just to see what's going on. I'm just, like, uh-huh. how, in, like, it, I mean, I just, I, how is that transition from a page well, to, to... I mean, the skin is way different than the, than a paper, because the paper doesn't move, it doesn't stretch. Um, doesn't go ow. Yeah, pretty <laughs> <doesn't> much. <flinch. laughs> yeah, it doesn't, you know, make any kind of noise, uh, but... Uh, yeah, it's it's just a moving canvas. So I mean, you have to do the right things that you got to do for yeah. the actual skin to take the ink. You've ever actually worked on anybody where you know, how, like sometimes the the muscle just kind of starts like twitching, like spasming, like, yeah, kinda, yeah, 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 all the time. Yeah, um, I mean, our body is made of like different nerve endings and stuff like yeah. that. So yeah. it just happens. You know what I mean? I know when I got my calf tattooed, that one for me it was just like it would make me twitch like every two three minutes. <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to move on purpose, but it happens. Yeah, I got a I got a tattoo, um, you know, going across my uh, right here, my collarbone, mm-hmm. and that was real kind of like I was like, ah, like just kind of painful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was weird. I see people cringe all the time when I'm tattooing them like yeah. that. It's just intense. So, um, I mean, like I said, I know you got your your home studio. I mean, how's how's things going? I mean, you, you know, you got people um, coming in and out here, or uh, we usually I usually try to do uh, appointment only. Mm-hmm. So uh, if you set that up with me, we'll get you a time slot and then do all that. Um, so basically, it's been like a normal business up and down. You know what I mean? Uh, it's been really good so far, uh, consistent. Uh, so I'm thankful for that. That's cool, man. You yeah, guys, and then you know, if you're watching, hit them up. You know, like I said, um, apartments only. Um, you mm-hmm. can hit them up at uh, at Slims underscore Inc. eighty nine. I will put that in the description. We'll put it on you know down here. Um, and uh, you know, like I said, you know, like we you know we you know it's, you know thank you know uh, thank you for writing us in. And like I yeah, said, yeah. you know, we're in here. You know, I see your artwork hanging on the walls. So you got some behind us. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I also so see that there has some price tags on them. Oh um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I try to do either commission or sell what I have um, available. Um, re- uh, they're decently priced. They're nothing yeah. too outrageous, yeah. you know. <laughs> like uh, I guess other painters or other artists, <clears throat> but uh, I mean, they're here for the picking. Yeah. Do you ever like? Uh, I mean, do um, like First Friday type of <clears throat> events? Or? Um, I haven't done First Friday yet. Uh, I have a few buddies that do that. Um, but I have done conventions. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've done some in where. Uh, 
I've done one here in San Antonio, Slang and Ink. Um, I did uh, New Braunfels. That's the Ink Masters one. I did oh. Midland. I did uh, Colleen. Uh, where else? That's pretty much it. Just a few here and there. Nothing yeah. too crazy. Uh, but it's basically like the same thing. Everybody goes to your booth just like this. Uh, and then just go ahead and tattoo them or sell whatever you got. What's been the wildest tattoo you've done? wildest <laughs> yeah. um i would say anything close to you know genitals or anything <laughs> like that uh that would be the wildest uh um i can't even think of anything weird because sometimes i mean a lot of people are weird but i mean i don't know just anything like that yeah and, yeah. and not to uh say like you're, you're not proud of you know every piece you do but what's been like probably one of your favorites to have ever Ooh. done on, on, on somebody dang that's a good one um i would say I did a shining, the shining oh, uh, portrait. Nice. That one's like my favorite portrait. Was it the Jack? Yeah. Yo. Yeah, man. That's that one's my favorite for sure. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, basically like black and gray portrait stuff. Okay. That's what I. That's what I. <clears throat> my favorite stuff has been so far. Anything um, like your particular like or kind of like like a main focus on or you know something that that you really like to enjoy more than something else that other people have asked. Um, I try to stay with more of like the black and gray. I mean, I do color, mm -hmm. uh, but not as often, but that's more, that's more of like my goal has been like since last year. And I feel like I've progressed a lot more mm -hmm. with black and gray. Um, just cause I enjoy it a lot better. It's, it goes a lot smoother for sure. Cool. 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 And like, what about like styles as far as like, uh, like you said, you know, you, uh, you enjoy doing portraits, but like. Um, you know, there's just like, you know, people love the Asian themes. I mean, more oh, themes. Like, like, is, um, is, there, is there a certain theme you, you kind of also really like? Just realism. That? Yeah, just something that's uh, more mm -hmm. 3D-ish, you know what I mean? Um, just basically black and gray. I could do Japanese and all that stuff too, but it's just more realism and portraits, uh, stuff like that. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I got something pretty fun that we should do right now. Um, Steven has tattoos. Um, and I have a few. Uh oh. <laughs> I want you. Okay, I'm gonna pick out my thing. T the tattoo that I think is my worst tattoo, and I want you to tell me how bad you think it is. <laughs> Are <laughs> we doing like a scale of one to ten? Or yeah, and, so okay. you just, and and don't be shy about it. Tell okay, me, because right, I know right. mine is pretty shitty. Okay. And it, but um, you know, I want Steven to pick out what he thinks is his worst tattoo, and to just to get your opinion on it. Okay. And um, you know, like just kind of that. So I have a, I mean, I have a piece tattoo uh, my, my, my mom's name. Uh -huh, I have uh -huh. the Circus Survived uh, oh, yeah. Safe Camp one I showed you earlier. But my worst tattoo is one I, I just mentioned earlier. Oh. I have a collarbone. It's um, a lyrics from a song called um, um, uh, it's from a Dance Game and Dance. Uh, it's called uh, the lyrics says, I uh, I believe there's meaning. Okay. Can, does, this, does this say that? I believe. Oh, shoot. That looks like a T. <laughs> Show it to <laughs> the camera. <laughs> Show it. See if it is. Because <laughs> the, theirs looks like the T. But, I mean, it doesn't look as bad as stuff I've seen. But, honestly, like, maybe... <laughs> Be I'll, honest. Gi I'll give Be it honest. a I'll give it a four or five. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, that's exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> okay, so for me, and I'm gonna take off my watch here because these were my oh, first don't tattoos. Don't go with the easy ones. They, 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 they're, they're bad. They're, they're pretty bad. bad. And, Is it because it's more visible? And these or? were and these were homemade. Okay. This is because these were really homemade. But um, my stars right here. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, they and and the amazing. reason why I say those is because I mean, obviously you could tell the, the difference. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, you know, as opposed to uh, everything else, I've I've gotten you okay. Know, looks, yeah. Looks more decent. Okay, I see. You like the Japanese stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But I think um, I think the stars is uh, <clears throat> one of the ones that kind of uh, your um, your Doctor Seuss stars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna so, say they're pretty <laughs> misshapen, but so these were also. Um, inspired i guess you can say was from one of my favorite bands back in high school okay uh, the ataris he's got stars oh, over by his wrist, which okay. like, oh i want to do that too i want to be cool and, <laughs> were you were you drinking were y'all drinking <laughs> what happened? i was drinking i had this one i was okay. free drinking and you know moon other stuff whatever yeah yeah, um, yeah i wish i was drinking <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I would say the same thing four or five, bro. I mean, cause, <laughs> yeah. I mean, because look, you, you, gotta, you, you can see a lot of still my my skin my skin tone in there. Yeah, so. yeah, you got to straighten them out and stuff like that. But it's definitely doable. I can do fix ups and all that stuff too. So you know which one of his tattoos that I hate? 
Oh. <laughs> He's just <laughs> roasting you today. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Show me the other one first. Okay, we have a younger brother. His name is Matthew. Okay. Like, oh, so sweet. Got my Matt. new name on it. Okay, okay. Short name because you know, he was whatever. charging me by the letter. Letter. Oh shit. So then you know, okay, you know, um, I get my other brother's name tattooed on me. You know, and and and, 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 and take for you know, and take you know, keep this in mind. I'm, I'm the middle child, so I get the shit into the stick all the all time. The all the time. time. <laughs> um, all the time. My name, my name is spelled E D D I E. Oh, no. not with a Y. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh, it's gonna be like an extra fifty for that. Uh, for that IE, IE. <laughs> oh just go ahead. And, just go ahead and was, just do was that the, the same guy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I always. So go. did you go back or did you like knock them out? Okay, so when I when I got these done, um, the first things that were done were the uh, the bird and the banner on, okay. bo- on both sides. Gotcha. <clears throat> then I went back for the uh, for the names. How much did the name did the bird and the banner cost? Do you remember? I don't remember. No. That was so long ago. You back when you were I rich. Was, I was like, I don't even think I was twenty one yet when I got these done. You're just a baby. Yeah, it was, a little it was, baby. It was fresh out of high school. <laughs> 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 and then the um, the mood the the sun and. and, and Granny, he got the he got the sun and not the moon because I think the moon on on this side looks pretty bad. I couldn't even tell that it was a movie. I did. Yeah, see, <laughs> see, 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 so, that, so that's why it looks pretty bad. I've known you my whole life. I had no idea that was a movie. <laughs> no, so, yeah. Uh, so, um, and, and, that, and if you don't recognize that son, that's the um, Godsmack son. No, oh, it is. <laughs> well, at least you have cool points for music tats. Okay, so first of all, you spelled my name wrong. <laughs> But then, but then he put it behind the Godsmack logo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not like Godsmack? I don't stand alone, dude. I just <laughs> don't. <laughs> well, I, I, nice. did, I did at the time, so. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it had a lot of meaning, okay? I give A for effort. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, th- those are some of, some of my worst. The worst tattoos. Well, uh, these two for sure were the worst. The other ones. The other ones aren't that bad. I would yeah. say the stars. Yeah, I agree with him. What's your take on face tattoos? I I want to get a face tattoo. You do nothing too crazy. Not like half of my face, but just something right here or the, above my eyebrow. Not, something small. Not nothing like Mike, uh, nothing Mike Tyson like. No, <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that. Um, when I take but that's nine. later on once I have you know. A lot more other tattoos than I want to get. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, think- I, I agree with the, I guess the, not traditional artist, but the traditional way that you have to be fully covered before you get like, like your face. Or, before you, you start expanding now. That's the thing. Like people <laughs> say you have to get some, some covered. Artists, yeah. Some artists won't uh, tattoo your hands at all if you don't have like sleeves or like a bodysuit hmm. or something. Um, that has evolved or changed um, wow, over I never, time. I, I never knew that. I never heard yeah, yeah. Some that either, artists yeah. will refuse to tattoo your face and all that stuff. And well, it's funny it's, because uh, one thing I've always wanted, and I think you have, is, is the fingers. Yeah. I always wanted that. I just, I just never knew what to put on there because I don't want to be cliche and be like, ooh, love, hate. Like, oh, like you okay. know, like just four letter words. Yeah. I have, I have devotion on mine. Okay, okay. So it's like a. That's a big See, word, now it's always the kind of lettering that I wanted. Like the traditional um, type? Yeah. yeah. And I remember one time, um, me and my girlfriend, were, were, we were at, it was when my son was first born. Um, we were, uh, we went, we know, oh, we get tattoos, you know. So, my, you know, my friend was you know, barely born. Yeah. Um, you know, my mom was watching him. Okay, so me and her, oh, he's going to get tattoos. And I had a badass, um, like, it was like an owl. And That's a like, tattoo? No. <laughs> no, but it was a... Uh, it was Matching bro tattoo. <laughs> Uh, but it was the story so far, uh, inspired tat, and I was gonna get it on my hand. Okay. But then my mom calls me and was like, "Oh my god!" Like just something happened with my son. She's like, "You uh, need to come home now." And just like, so I never got it. I'm just like to this day, I'm still bitter about it. Like I've always wanted that hand tattoo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was just like, like I've yeah. always wanted those kind of. I've always wanted. <clears throat> I just never knew what to put on them. Like and just like what the hell? Did I, I always used to uh, when me and my wife were getting married. <clears throat> I always used to tease her like. I'm gonna get something done. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a tattoo done. You know, for for the wedding day. You know, and, and I go. What what side? What side of you know? Am I gonna stand on when when we're up? On, you know, getting altar, married yeah. on the altar. And uh, I was like, because I'm gonna get a neck tattoo right here with the with the <laughs> with our uh, wedding date. And then she's like, No, you better not do that. I'm like, Yeah, I'm gonna get it right here or get it on my cheek. You know. <laughs> If and you then, can get it right here, that's pretty cool. Because then you can cover it with your face. And then, uh, and then I, and then I always tell her too. And then I want to get, uh, I want to get um, 
Somebody on my knuckles, too. She's like, what are you going to get? And go, lockdown. <laughs> oh, Game over. Game over. Game over. <laughs> oh, <man>. God smack. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, that'd be dope. Well, yeah, man. I mean, um, I mean, like I said, I mean, I've, uh, you know, I, it's, I just I never had the money to get tattoos and stuff like that, you know, and, you know. I've all you know me and my girlfriend always you know we we love you know tattoos all that stuff. I'm always interested in that kind of stuff. Like you know you know like what are people's takes on face tattoos? You I know, mean, and, if they're tasteful, I think that it's it's still art. Um, but right? there's still a lot of people that get just nonsense, random stuff. I think it's happening a lot Play, more with Playboy Bunny. Yeah, it's <laughs> happening a lot more with the younger like I Post Malone him, having all. Yeah, this. <laughs> I mean, I, I think he could have got a little bit more of like the better quality, but. I mean, drinking all that Bud it, Light gets it's you. It's his choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't knock him. Can't knock him. He's still a good artist, so. Oh, yeah, I love him. He was um, just here not too long ago or the other day. A couple of days ago, yeah. yeah. Um, the 29th or something? Yeah, 20th, 20th, yeah, 20th, 20th, yeah, 20th, 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 yeah, 29th. Yeah, he was here. Yeah, missed oh. that show. Was, dude, I'm, not, I'm not paying 130, 130 bucks for tickets. I love you, but come on. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Stop being an asshole. And, <laughs> then the, and then the beer and all that stuff right. and merch. And I'm pretty sure all he had at the show was Bud Light. I'm yeah. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> There's certainly Bud Light. Um, Scrap everything else. <laughs> But yeah, man. Um, like craft beer shit. Uh, <laughs> let's. I mean, let's kind of, let's kind of, um, you know, switch kind of uh, where we're going right now. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? Before that, let's take a break. How about that? Yeah. Good with that. Yeah, cool. that. Yeah. All right, gotta take a break. We'll be back. And we're back. What's going on, guys? Uh, Eddie is here with Josh. God. Yeah, Steven over here gets names all wrong all the time. <laughs> <laughs> is it Levine? 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 The, Levine? Levine? The, worst the, the worst one I've had was Laverne. I don't know where they got. Oh, I don't know where they got that, but that was the worst one. Laverne. 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 Yeah. Wow. That was bad. Um, but yeah, guys. Uh, we said we know. Um, check them out on um, Instagram. Uh, hit them up. Uh, tattoo artist Josh Levine, aka Slims Inc. Slims yeah, and Inc. again, uh, we'll put that um, all of the dis- uh, all, uh, all of it uh, on the uh, bottom here. So again, it's uh, at Slims underscore Inc. with two Ks, yep. eight nine. So make sure you put that extra K. Make sure you got that extra K. Yep, you'll find somebody <laughs> else, not me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, again, uh, we're, we are enjoying some Crawford Bach from Carbach. Brewing company celebrating the Astros, uh, wins and losses. Celebrating the wins Astros, and wins and losses. I mean, um, if you're not familiar with Carbide Brewing com- uh, Company, they are from Houston, Texas. So, yeah. which is the you know, H Town, which is the uh, Astro inspired can here. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which, um, I, which I which I really dig and the, the beer itself. It's a good is beer. It's a good beer. It's good. Mood. I was really surprised that it, it has a low um, alcohol. You know. I, I really didn't. It tastes I, pretty light. It. it yeah. I just. I never really thought. I, I bought a six pack one time, and I was like, oh, "This is good." And I didn't even bother checking. But yeah, um, but I got all <laughs> messed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, don't I don't remember anything. I think when I drank this, I was watching. I forgot what movie I was watching. I, I always buy a nice beer to go with a movie, and I think I was drinking this when I was watching um, Book Smart. Oh yeah, that's yeah, a good movie. Book Smart. Um, check yeah, it out. It, it's funny. I, I think you and your wife are really gonna love that movie. It's it's hilarious. It's really good. Smart. I'll, I'll, if you guys yeah. like Step Brothers, you're definitely gonna like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is uh, it that it, funny? Uh, do, you all, do you also like uh, Superbad? Yes. You're definitely gonna love this one. Yeah. It, it was a good movie. It, it, it kind of had that vibe because it's got um, uh, Johnny Hill's sister in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, okay. So. Okay. And she's she's pretty much just like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it rubbed off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money that's rubbed yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's so beautiful. Um, so, oh, excuse me. But uh, I know um, during the break we were talking we were talking music, music, mm. and, and uh, I feel like we bonded right now. I really do. I really feel like we bonded. <laughs> uh, you were telling me about a show a show you just went to recently. What show was that? Uh, it was Knock Loose. Uh, Rowdy now, oh. and then uh, stick to your gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was really good. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. I was gonna say real quick, watch your uh, mic is uh, at the edge right there. So. Oh, there you go. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> dude. Mic slip. How was it? 
crazy. It was intense. Uh, the crowd was going wild for Knock Loose, of course. Uh, uh, there was two mosh pits at the same time. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get out of here. Watch yeah, here. yeah, hold definitely. On. You didn't have time to do that. You were getting pushed out. It was crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. Um, it was a good time. Do you, yeah. remember, do you remember that time at Taste of Chaos when uh, SLA, SLA Dying Dine came out and I had my beer? And he had a full <laughs> beer and the, and the pit just started. You just see him running, just throw his beer. Just like, I was like, I was trying did to you like, get in there? Or did you? I was like, no, he did. He and got I, in there. I, I, I was like, fucking. Nice, yeah. And people got up and like, no, there was a few cans thrown, well, probably quite a few, but yeah. yeah, it was pretty crazy. Dude, I love, I love metal and hardcore shows. Like, oh, so awesome. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, we, we know a bond, bonded about music. I mean, um, dude, music brings everybody together. Dude. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean, Mister, listen to Alkaline Trio and Big Two over here. Um, me and Josh listen to Power Trip. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, before he listened to Power Trip, he used to listen to NSYNC and Backstreet Boys, but I, I didn't see it. That's, oh. that's my first concert. <laughs> Backstreet Boys no way, my first bro. concert, yeah. Oh, shit. I grew up with Girl Cousins. Okay. Not my fault. Uh, so true. he says. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Those but, are his roots. But, but they, they got into it because of him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you turned him on to that one. Justin Timberlake's a good singer. <laughs> <laughs> and dancer. And dancer. <laughs> oh, man. So, I mean, um, he can't rock my body. Um, <laughs> oh my God. He turns everything homosexual. <laughs> Which is nothing wrong with that. But. <laughs> 2019. Get with it. Okay, whatever. Right? Um, <laughs> um, so, I mean, uh, I mean, what other bands do you like? I mean, I saw outside outside. you have a, a pretty pretty badass um, uh, Day to Remember artwork out there. Uh huh. Um, Day to Remember. Oh man, there's a bunch. We're listening to right now. Like right now, when you, when you go to your car, you put in your music on. What, what's what's coming up right now? Um, lately, Katy Perry. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I, one, oh, what was it? I think it was a few days ago. I was listening to like nothing but country. But uh, are you okay? Are you I mean are you sad right now? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, but you're sad, dude. Because the it's it's the pop. Mean. It's a country pop or whatever <laughs> oh, it is. Okay, so okay. It's, it's pretty uh pretty upbeat. But uh. Um, I don't know. I don't know any bands that I've been listening to like consistently. Well, the other day, other we than were, we other were, than not we were, we were jamming stuff. out to some jams in uh, on the YouTube. So on well, the YouTube, what, what were we doing? No, me, me and Josh and I came up. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the other day. We all listened to. Yeah. Honestly, uh, one of them right. was uh, I Prevail, uh, okay. Stick to Your Guns came on. Uh, was it Parkway point. Drive? Parkway, Parkway Drive. Yeah, Parkway okay. Drive. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. I haven't listened to Parkway Drive in a long time. You keep talking dirty to me when you do listen. <laughs> <laughs> You're seducing me. Um, but like, um, as far as you know, keeping the music is uh, anything like that's come out lately that you've been you listened to or like. They or? had a uh, Knock Loose had a new album. Uh, I was jamming that, that out for a while, but. Uh, Man, I don't know anything new. Um, what kind of hip hop artist do y'all like? I mean, uh, for me, I mean, like, do you like the old school? Do you like, like newer stuff? I'm not talking about like. Uh, as far, what is his name? Uh, dang, little pump or anything like oh, that? Oh yeah, no, 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 no nothing no. like that. But. No, I mean, I mean, if anything new that is nowadays is Post Malone, but okay. I mean, he's always good. But like back then, I you know he did it, have an album come out too. Yeah, though. and it's yeah, 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 super yeah. good, super yeah. good. Um, I think it's a lot more mellow than what he started off. Yeah, as, especially because he has Ozzy Osbourne on the album. Yeah, 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 it's pretty dope. Yeah. Um, he introduced me to Sage Francis. Um, okay. Uh, not not ASAP Rocky, but ASAP Rock. Um, atmosphere. Wow, I never um, haven't heard of ASAP Rock. Yeah. Oh, yo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that dude is insane. Um, but no, I mean some some um, some new. Uh, well, I mean we'll stay in hip hop. I mean I I've gotten I got into the recent um, Machine Gun Kelly album. I haven't heard that one. Yet. Which I mean, I, first when I heard him, I was like, I don't really. God, this guy sounds stupid. But I actually listened to his music. I'm like, okay, he's pretty good. <laughs> his his, his, uh, his stuff that he recently or not recently, his stuff that he started up at uh, with is pretty good. Yeah. Um, what else have I heard from? Him? I love uh, I loved um, uh, I Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino. Yeah, yeah he's, dude, he's good. He's good. Um, let me see. Who else? Uh, I was about to say, um, if, if I'm going to keep it mainstream with uh, hip-hop, uh, one of my favorite artists right now uh, that also just came out with an album this year, um, Logic. 
Logic? Uh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Okay. Um, okay. Dude, uh, he, he, does he have a feature with, or does uh, Joyner got, Lucas has a feature? Or... I know he's uh, one of the albums. I think he has a feature with Eminem, and then mm-hmm. uh, he even did. Um, I want to say I don't know if it was an EP or an album before that um, he did with uh, Wu Tang Clan, and Wu Tang oh, really? Wu Tang has been one of my favorites uh, ever since high school. Okay, um, okay. He, uh, it's like Killer Bees and this and that. This fucking sounds really dope. Uh, so uh, yeah, Logic. Uh, just because I think he's just real lyrical, like just like. He he reminds me of, uh, as far as mainstream goes. He reminds me of a lot of stuff that I used to listen to that was underground. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, I mean, he spits pretty fast though. Yeah, too. yeah. So uh, and kind of reminds me of him. Um, if you, like uh, my brother said, you know, um, for me, he kind of reminded me of like uh, maybe uh, Sage Francis because Sage Francis spits out pretty pretty fast. Yeah. And um, who else is out there? I mean, there, there there were just a whole bunch of people I was listening to back in the day. I just can't remember right now. Have y'all seen the the new series that Wu Tang Wu Tang has? I, I've been watching that. Oh, okay, I, I haven't yet. I just oh, wanted to see. Uh, yeah, no, I haven't watched it yet, but okay. I, hear, it, it, I, I hear good things. It's 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 really good. Um, actually, the the clan was was in San Antonio like about a month ago. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I think they're on tour now, promoting pretty much promoting the, the show because the um, um, where I go get my haircut, uh, my barber uh, mentioned that. Um, she went with her friend and that they were just pretty much talking like, oh yeah, you know, be sure to catch our, you know, bio the new series or whatever, series, yeah. you know, on Hulu, it's, 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 it's a Hulu original, so. Oh, wow. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, I mean, from the first episode, I, w- I was pretty much just like, like into it because like, um, usually it, it, it's really hard, you know, with, when people try to do bio, uh, picks, especially shows and stuff like that. On an artist, and especially on rap artists, you know, like yeah, they, they kind of like make it colorful. I guess you can say. Yeah, they instead, do it too Hollywood. Yeah, or... instead of making it a real, real grainy, like I love Straight Outta Compton. It was a really good movie, really yeah. re- well written. But, but towards was, the end, it gets it, real it, Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, it gets really <laughs> Hollywood. The whole, the, um, I, the one thing I like that movie until it gets to the the whole scene where he's riding Friday and like oh, fuck off like, no, <laughs> that, you that, know they had to throw that in they there had they, they, yeah, had, because, they had to throw yeah because like one of the things they throw in there is like you got knocked the fuck out. I was like I was like dude he's riding Friday and then yeah. and then <sighs> and then the whole uh, Dre and Snoop Dogg like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Dre. Let, let me go ahead and but uh, spit some yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, he one, does California two, love. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 not California love. Um, one, two, oh, no, three, no, no, two, no, like no, a G thing. Like yeah, a okay, G yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, from okay. the Chronic, and uh, I was like, I was like, ah, oh, dude, that that's 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 corny as fuck. <laughs> yeah, almost as corny as uh, what's his name? Um, um, Eight Mile Eminem. Yeah. No, as uh, Eight Mile. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. Bro. Yeah. As I, um, I based my life on it. <laughs> I know. Hey, you know what? Let's turn on the song right now. Yeah. <laughs> No, almost as corny as Bohemian Rhapsody, where he sings Bohemian Rhapsody. It was just like, calm down, calm down. Oh, at like, the end? No, in the beginning, where he's like playing, like, oh, this song's going to be a hit. Like, oh, fuck yeah, off. yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're right. Um, no, but like, yeah, like, uh, kind of switching gears and from hip hop to kind of more of the indie kind of rock scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple albums that came out recently that I've really been listening to are Cigarettes After Sex, uh, Crying uh, is, the album, is the album name, but. Uh, Cigarettes that's your sex there's one of the bands they're from El Paso like just imagine floating in a cloud like just falling in love that's what it is like oh, wow. <laughs> listen to it it, it is Whoa, it got deep there man. Oh <laughs> it is, I mean it really is that like I mean listen what to it cloud? it's pretty good a, right? se- a sexy cloud um, and also uh, today November 1st uh, Turnover released their new album uh, I forgot the name of it, but it is the sexiest album I've heard this year. It is just awesome. Uh, um, sex club. Okay, okay. It really is. And ask Matthew because Matthew had a <laughs> he had the greatest tweet today. It said like he's all like, "Oh, um, turn over with that horny music." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, yes, that's, that's exactly what it is, and it's awesome, and it's so good, and listen to it. Um, but yeah, that's just two albums that came out this 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 month that I'm uh, pretty excited about. So go check Yo. it out. Cigarettes after sex, cry and turn over whatever the album name is. I don't yeah. know what the name is. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you like my love music, it's all good. So definitely, it is. It is what it is. Uh, I mean, 
like you said, we I mean we we just kind of we kind of always transition to to different stuff all all the time. I mean, like you were saying, you were listening to country earlier. <laughs> yeah, that was way and, off from and, uh, what I'm usually <laughs> listening to. But uh, and sometimes he makes fun of me because I I throw in like some country sometimes. And he's like, what the? <laughs> it's not all sad, all right? <laughs> are, 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 he touches my head. Are you okay? You got a fever there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's some good stuff. <laughs> There's some good stuff out there. Uh, he just doesn't remember. He just wants to forget the the picture that I have of me and him, where he's in his cowboy hat, and we're uh, we took a picture in front of uh, Brooks and Dunn's uh, trailer. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a drunken blur. That's what it was. Back in uh, the San Antonio Rodeo, 1994. <laughs> <laughs> probably. probably. <laughs> Damn. We go, we'll go 97. <laughs> that was throwback. Throwback. Yep. Uh, but guys, I mean, one of the things we talk about on the show all the time is um, music. I mean, not music, um, movies, TV, you know, all that geek culture stuff that we really, really love. Um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> I have an issue, guys. I really have an issue. Steven, what's my issue? Uh-oh. I'll tell you right now. Don't, don't answer. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I never met someone who has never seen the new Star Wars movies. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no shame. No shame. Oh, Hi, my, my name is Josh. Uh, I have never seen a Star Wars movie. <laughs> nope. I have not seen one. I feel like yet. There, I feel, I feel yeah, there was like, maybe we can. Okay, okay. I feel okay, there uh, needs to okay. be like a a, a me or I, something. Okay, for I, just, I just have to know. Right. I mean, earlier I asked you about tattoos. I just have to know now why. Um, because I, I I spoke to your wife I know, earlier. A, I spoke to your wife earlier, uh-huh. and she's she told me she's like I, I've seen them. And I tried getting them to watch. <laughs> she's like, I watched the Harry I watched the Harry Potter movies, which disturbed me to the core that you have not watched. I mean, I get it. I but. don't know. I mean, I guess I never really been. Uh, I mean, are you? I mean, are you just been busy, or? <laughs> no, I mean, it's not that I'm busy. I can understand, like now, if, just... if, if you were to watch the Harry Potter movies now, and for the first two, they're they're gonna seem like a little bit more like kids movies. But then after that, they they they, they intensify. They, they I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but I've I'm never more talking really about gotten into but... the Star Wars stuff, I guess. But uh, it's not that I wouldn't like it, or I wouldn't watch it but i just haven't yet i'm offended i'm really i'm sorry (laughs) i'm just kidding it's we'll drink about it we'll drink and we'll cheers and we'll drink drink about it that's that's the whole reason why we have the beers you know Mm -hmm. situations like this come you know what redeemed you true that's when i asked you about power trip and you said yes and i was like okay perfect (gasps) 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 we could be friends no, Thank just... you, Paul, for introducing me. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's one of my boys that always gets me into like new music and stuff. Yeah, so I got okay, th- so I gotta thank him for that one. Just you know, okay. So you haven't seen remind Star me, Wars. Uh, remind me later to show you life cycles. Oh yeah, I've heard him. <gasps> yes. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, that's cool. cool. You're cool again, I guess. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, okay, my, my so my cool uh, points are coming up again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're you, you were almost borderline negative. Oh, I, mean, you're, you're, I know, you're, I know. You're, you're Star getting, Wars is a big hit. I know, I know. But at the oh. same time, like you know, I get it. Like, I mean, do um, you do you even know what that is right there on, on his jacket? Uh, I mean, even if he shows you the word, you're, I mean, I think I've tattooed it before. <laughs> I've, t- I've tattooed that symbol before. Right, like this fucking cult leader. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, but yeah, I don't know exactly what it's for. So but. funny story though, too, about talking about cult leaders or whatever. This guy is in a in a cult apparently. <laughs> Huh? Um, Get so out. he he, <laughs> Get he, 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 no, just, he used to wear this um, this shirt that um, I, I don't know why I never snapped to what it was, but then oh, when when, when um, okay 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 when uh, okay yeah it was a shirt and it had a, a but certain, was it really a coat no 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 it had it had a certain symbol <laughs> well, it had a certain symbol on it okay and let's uh-huh. just say that for now it had a certain symbol. Uh, this is back when we were uh, trying to get breweries to feature us on, uh, on, you know, at their breweries to do shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, our second brewery we ever did was Alamo, um, and this is a little behind the scenes thing for you guys. Uh, Steven was the one who planned out that whole show. You know, he got with the the owner. You know, shout out Eugene. Um, uh, you know, he he talked to him straight up, and he's like, "Oh, well, we've done an episode at, at Ranger Creek. Here, let me show you." At during the episode of Ranger Creek, I was wearing that shirt. And the shirt had the symbol. It's a Harry Potter 
Harry oh. Potter Ooh. reference. <laughs> it's called the Deathly Hallows, and it's a triangle with a circle and like a kind of like a line. I've tattooed it. it. Yes. <laughs> I've tattooed, I've tattooed it. it. <laughs> yes, and I will pay you to tattoo that on me. <laughs> with on the chest. word always on it. Oh my god! <laughs> See, I know, I know what they look like, but <laughs> I don't. I know what they are, but I don't know oh, what I'm they ashamed. are. <laughs> <I'm ashamed. laughs> oh, man. But he shows them that episode, and he's all like. And and, and you know, apparently the, the owner the, the owner the, was all like, "What's that? What's that on his shirt?" <laughs> and Steven's all like, "I don't know. He, he, I think he worships Satan or something." <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I throwing say him that. under the bus. I like didn't that. Say that. He really did. No, I didn't. I just I just he said, didn't say Satan, but he's like, "I don't know. It must be a band or something." I just say like, "Oh, I think it, I think it's just a uh, a shirt from one of his favorite but if, bands." But if you oh. see it, I know you've seen it, and yeah. it looks like a pretty cultish yeah, kind of it, it symbol. Does. I got but. scared tattooing it, but nah, I'm <laughs> no. just kidding. Uh, what? Uh, are we cool with it? Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm pretty sure that's why he doesn't like me, but whatever. And then uh, when I told him about it, and he goes, dude, that's from Harry Potter. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, you know what it is? I did not. It's like, Pew. No, my God. Yeah, so. But at, this, at the same time, though, dude, I was a little nervous because, again, we were just starting doing uh this podcast show we were like two like a month in and oh, wow and we were getting um you know one another big brewery you know to be featured on the, the show one of the biggest and, breweries and and um you know actually talking to the owner face to face and i was just kind of like uh <laughs> so i feel you on that one it's like a girl meeting justin bieber <laughs> oh that's a good one <laughs> or like eddie meeting justin timberlake <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. I know he's getting me. It's like the Astros losing. Oh, oh. <laughs> just gotta let it heal, bro. Let it heal. I'm sorry. That wound. That one's still fresh, man. So, but yeah. So it, it's a little like he said, it's a little backstory. Um, but again, you know what? We're, we're, I'm gonna. I'm gonna what the get, fuck we're we talking about? <laughs> Star I wanna, Wars. We're I wanna, starting, yeah, I was gonna say I want to get into Wars. this uh, into this conversation a little bit more, but. Um, I know we're gonna go. We're gonna go a little further into it. So I want to take a little, another little quick break on this because um, I know it's gonna it's gonna go deeper. And we're already kind of like you know minutes in. So I just want to take a little break and then we're gonna Word. start fresh. And, and, and we're gonna we're, we're we're gonna get you to watch that. that that's let's just put it that way. But in the show, I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> so we'll be right back and we're gonna take a little break. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Keep Intriguing, episode 32. We are sitting here with Josh Levine, a.k.a. Slims, Inc. Yeah. Two Ks. Yeah. <laughs> two Ks. <laughs> it, 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 you spelled it wrong. Yeah. I'm going to have to carry it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we are drinking Carbox Crawfordbach, mm-hmm. uh, celebrating the great season of Fusion Astros. Sorry, they lost. Okay, Thank I'm being you. I'm being humble. Wins you. and losses. I'm telling you, wins and losses. Hey, but the thing about it, dude, um, they lost. This, this was the first. <laughs> <laughs> this was the first <laughs> World Series that the road teams. Yeah, it won. Is, yeah, really. Like so, um, the first two games were were in Houston, and the, the, the Nationals, Nationals won. won. Oh, okay. And then the next three games were in uh, Washington. And the Astros won all three of those games, and then the last two games were in Houston, wow. Houston, and the Nationals won those two. I was like, that's crazy. Like, <laughs> yep. So, it, it was, it was it's kind of a little like record history. It's a historic thing, thing yeah, but at the same time, it's like they're still part of history. Yeah, yeah they still but, lost. <laughs> he doesn't. It doesn't matter. He doesn't even have any watch baseball. <laughs> I don't watch but baseball I, much but either. But I bet bro. you if he was at the game, he'd be fucking having a blast. <laughs> <Dude, laughs> he'll be eating a hot dog even though he doesn't a hot like dog. a hot dog. <laughs> he, eating a hot dog and uh, Cracker Jacks with the uh, Crawford box. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I mean, like, I, I, like um, I don't even like hockey, and I went to the Rampage game. I had the best time of my life. I was like, oh, this is... Was it on Dollar Beer Night? No, actually, no. But we went to... We, we sat in a box and... Oh, shoot. That's dope. Spent, like, 30 bucks on food and... It's basically... It's expensive. Okay, so we're going to get back to you, Josh, here on about the Star Wars, but I just want to go uh, over a couple of little things here. Uh-huh. Uh, so uh, just today was announced that uh, Peyton Reed, who directed the first Ant-Man movie, right? And second. And second, is going to return for the third 
one. And have Dope. you seen have you seen both of them? Uh, the first one. First one. Okay. First one. I think yeah. the second one's on Netflix. Yes. Yeah. It was the last. It was the last Marvel. It was the last Marvel. Ant Man and Wasp. Yeah. Yeah. Ant Man and Wasp. Yeah. 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 It was the last Marvel movie to be streamed on Netflix. Yeah. I mean, oh, the first Ant Man. Yeah. The first first Ant Man. I kind of was late to seeing it. Um. Mm-hmm. I, I mean. Yeah. I see these movies, but I, I don't really get out to the theater much to see them unless it's a big movie like Avengers or uh, the Endgame. You know, Star. Yeah. Endgame. Yeah. You know, or if it's um like Joker, I want to go see that in theater. But uh, which like, one? Uh, Joker. But it, like it, oh, if okay. if it's something like these like these um, like Ant Man and you know um, uh, Captain Marvel like I wait I wait to Redbox to kind of see those movies. Uh, but yeah, the first one I kind of was late to seeing it. Second one I saw it when it was on Netflix, and I was like, okay, they're entertaining. Yeah, it's, entertaining. it's entertaining uh, for what it is. I mean, but me, me and my wife, are, uh, me and my wife, <laughs> me and my wife are uh, big fans of uh, Paul Rudd, so that's why we uh, definitely we Paul Rudd. Yeah. yeah. So. Have you seen that show of his on Netflix? Uh, um, no, no, we're gonna we're, living with yourself. Yeah, yeah. We're, I saw we're, a couple episodes. I started I watching like, one of them. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's, and I, I haven't seen the second one, so I got to continue watching it. But mixed it's, reviews it's, on, it's on it. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he is kind of. But I mean, he, he's, he's good. out there. He's good in the show. He's, it's just the show itself. It's just like, eh, okay, I mean, whatever. Well, you know? cool. yeah. yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> uh, second thing that was also uh, just announced it from uh, Sony Pictures Animation on their Instagram page, um, Spider Verse. Uh, so back in 2018. Mm-hmm. Uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse came out, the, uh, anime, the animated one. Oh, it was a dope, dope movie. Dope. He didn't go see it. Yeah, I, okay, okay. Did you see when, the theater? Uh, when, it, when, no. it, when it came no. out in the theaters, I was working at a theater, so I saw a lot of stuff in the theater. But not that but one. Not the full movie. No, no, I saw like bits and pieces. What? Like I saw like the last scene, the beginning. This, I saw bits and pieces. I never the seen clips, the full movie. Yeah. yeah. So I finally saw it when it came out in Redbox, and I, I liked it. It was good. You know, uh, I know it has high, the most highest praise in the world. It's a good movie. I like it. Um, you know, one, one uh, best animated um, Oscar. Oscar. Really, um, I didn't know so, that. Well, yeah. Uh, and, and, um, and what's funny is that the other day on Halloween, I took my son to um, to the doctor. He was been sick lately, and they had it playing. He's all like, and he usually has a switch with him. He's playing. He's all like, I will put this down. He's watching. I'm like, okay, he's watching. Yeah, Spider-Man. I think my son would have done the same thing. And uh, <laughs> uh, me and my son went to go watch it in theater. Just, just us two. Uh, usually it's me. Uh, oh, him. good for you. <laughs> me, him, and and, uh, and my wife, his mom. Dad points. But uh, <laughs> Dad points we went to go there. watch it, and he can't. He it was the first time I ever seen him come out of a movie where where he's like, oh, that was good, that was good. But where he was like, Dad, that movie was awesome. It was amazing. He was like, we need to bring mom. Mom needs to come see this movie. Like, oh. I was like, okay. Was like, <laughs> he was hyped. Yeah, he was just yeah. like. Like oh my god! And then when he, when uh, my uh, when my wife got home when we got home and he was telling my wife he was like telling his mom he's like mom you need to go watch this movie with us it was so good <laughs> it was so good it was like oh my god mom you just you won't believe it, it was like I was like oh sh-. I was like okay <laughs> it was a really good movie uh, yeah I mean it was good. It, yeah we 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 both we both liked it it was really entertaining so uh, so uh, Sony Pictures Animation just announced that they're gonna do a sequel to the movie. Um, hoping uh, to be released in uh, April of twenty 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 two. Yeah, twenty twenty two. So, the, the, about I mean, three okay. years. Who else? Two and a half who years. else is just weirded out by these dates? Twenty twenty, twenty twenty one. Just like what the we're what going, the hell? Are we that far? To, we're yeah, like, <laughs> dude, that I, was, far? I was already freaking out when we were getting past. 2015, I was like, holy shit, okay, we're Past really going... 2012, <laughs> yeah. when everything was supposed to end. Yeah. <laughs> so, there you yeah, go. That's pretty wild. Um, another thing is, uh, st- another streaming service is going to be coming out, HBO Max. Have you heard about this? No. Okay, so... I don't like all that stuff, because no. it's like, YouTube TV is, is out there, and Which I think, stuff. actually, YouTube TV is really good. Really? Well, yeah. it's the thing okay. is, like, okay. the thing it's, is, it's, a, like, it's just a, another thing to pay, though. It's a little That's expensive, but it's really good. And yes, and you are not wrong, and it's, it's nothing to pay, but it's... You know how, like, back then, like, oh, like, I'm not going to pay for cable, I'll just play... Um, eleven bucks for Netflix, and I get everything I want. Well, now then, nowadays back, it's just back, like back then it was seven ninety nine. It's limited to certain stuff, and like certain stuff you want to see, you have to buy another streaming service. So like, word, yeah. Um, you know, right. for instance, and we'll get into it later. Like Disney, you mm-hmm. know, so all these Marvel movies, Star Wars movies, everything, 
it's it's it's, it's going to be exclusively on Disney Plus, which is another streaming service. Okay. Um, and then you have HBO Max, which is um, you know, H like just it's it's a whole other catalog of stuff. Um, like is these, it mainly like movies or uh, shows and movies? Uh, okay. that, and, and one thing he's going to mention uh, that um, we'll, we'll mention right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, they are announcing some series for the movies, and they are they do take part in the DC universe, so like okay. Green, Green Lantern. So HBO is pretty much partnering with Warner Brothers, and gotcha, one thing gotcha. that Warner HBO Brothers is owned by or, Warner, Warner Media, yeah, which Warner is Warner Media, Media is is a parent company that owns Warner Brothers, so it's just and, like they're having their own little and own streaming and has yeah. DC, so. Wow. Uh, so okay. yeah, one of the things they they did one of the main things they did announce was uh, there's gonna be a Green Lantern series. Um, they did a little teaser for HBO Max, and uh, one of the things that that they in the teaser that I saw on, on the titles I was kind of excited about is that they're doing the Gremlins animated series. Oh, that should be dope. So I'm a little bit excited with that one, and I think it's supposed to go. I think in that one they're supposed to focus on on like the the Gremlins like. Before I guess, like before the the, the events they, of the the first Gremlins movie. Oh, okay. <clears throat> kind of like where they came from and how they came about. The backstory yeah. on it. Yeah. So. Gotcha. Um. <clears throat> so the thing with HBO Max, because right now there's HBO Now. Mm-hmm. Um. Other stuff is it, it, and, and combined. Yeah, because what it is is that right now HBO Now is fifteen ninety nine. HBO Max is going to be the same price. But what HBO Now is, it's just. It, exclusively just hbo stuff so just the movies and and all of hbo like say if you pay like, say if you have cable and you pay that extra premium for hbo yeah everything you get with that hbo you get it uh on hbo now but you could stream it which means you could just play anytime you want you know you don't have to follow a schedule oh, um, okay okay uh so that's what you pay the 59.9 for this hbo max is just another it's another netflix per se like um it's Netflix for HBO, and it's gonna be the same price. But the thing about it, if you get the Max, you're gonna not only just get all the HBO stuff, you're gonna get everything else included with that. Again, with you know, uh, DC is gonna release a lot of their movies <laughs> on, on that platform. Yeah. Um, and, I, and, and I know, I know, right now we sound like HBO salesmen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, so yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, coming with your subscription coming in November twenty twenty. Yeah. Be so sure to, uh, be sure to get your <laughs> subscription for HBO Max, and be sure you to can get, sign up. Be, now. be yeah. sure to catch so, a new series by the Green Lantern. Can I judge it down for two, three years? <laughs> I mean, twenty five. I mean, what shit? <laughs> Sounds like a good deal. So, but yeah, that that's gonna be a, you know one of the big things. It's and the then, future of cable, pretty much. I mean. And then you know, gotcha. speaking of HBO, um, I don't know if you guys, I know he's not, but uh, Game of Thrones fans, you know, that's another thing I haven't seen. High five. <laughs> <laughs> never seen it. White Walkers. What? I I'm never gonna, heard I'm of gonna, it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was like, had the series still being continued, I'd be like, what? You guys haven't seen it? Now that it's in, I'd be like. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't, don't, don't waste your time with it. We'll see it when we see it. Yeah, just see it, just see it when you feel like watching it. Because, because, because the, last, the last season was a total bomb. For me, it was a total bomb. Oh, man. Um, I was real disappointed. So, it, 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 so. it hit the climax and then just... Pretty much. Like, really bad, yeah. Damn. So fast. So fast. Um, and, that, and that's because they, they, they took a year off as well. From just after, just to produce and make that last season, which ended up being a bomb show. Yeah. Um, yeah. See, this is the thing. Like, <clears throat> I, I don't watch a show, but I keep up with what's going on and kind of like what happens in it. So I'm just like, okay, I know this, I know that. You know more or less like a summary of it. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I knew what happened. I knew the the complaints, and I knew this and that. Uh, what, what's going on is that like they, um, you know, when the show was wrapping up, they ordered, hey, you know, let's make a prequel. Yeah, let's do some uh, prequel of, of this of, show of, of to where we that, show yeah. the origins of this so-called war that's happening. That prequel got canceled, and another one got green lit, just straight. Like, uh, so when I say canceled, they shot a pilot. The the executives and, and, and it had a. Um, a uh, pretty big name. Uh, yeah, uh, Naomi Watts. Naomi Watts. Mm. Uh, she was in the show. So they shot a pilot, which is the first episode. They, they, I guess they showed it to executives. And w- w- whether it was bad, whether it was a direction they, they, you know, they didn't want to go towards, yeah. they just straight up, we're not doing this. We're canceling it. And then um, the next day they announced um, this 
other series, which is in the same world, Game of Thrones, blah, 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 you know, we're going to order that series. So they already ordered, like, like a season, you know, so we're, we're making this season. It's just, like, it's, it's a just, mix up. Yeah, it's yeah. just like a business. And, and to, be honest, to be honest, really with you, I, I, re, I, I could really care less. When, when they, even when they announced this other uh, prequel, you know, spinoff, I was just like, just, just let it, just let it go already, guys. I <laughs> just mean, let just it let, die. Just let it go. We, we, we got the show. Uh, at a certain point, they veered off the books. I never read the books, but I heard that they veered off the books, and it's like, just, just let it go. Just, okay, that's it. Yeah. So, so um, these two guys, um, David Benioff. And uh, D.B. Weiss, they're the writers. They're the ones who wrote most of the Game of Thrones uh, series. Okay. Um, you know, they're, they're the guys who, who show around. You know, they were the main guys who wrote the series. A while back, they were announced to have um, been brought on to write a, uh, a new series of Star Wars films. New trilogy. Yeah, a new trilogy. And it, okay. it, it, it's not... It, it, it's it's just it, it might be confusing, but it's just like they're not like um, they're making their own trilogy of films, like it's a standalone. So okay, um, but just announced this week that they're not doing it no more. So wow. and they're gonna that focus. Sucks. They're gonna focus on their uh, Netflix um, Dungeons and Dragons show. Yeah. Okay, okay. Which which, which that one's supposed to be animated too, right? Um, I thought no. I heard, no. Okay, maybe I, I mean, it was something. Maybe it was something else I was thinking of. Which en- enchanted. <laughs> <laughs> um, which you know, um, it's just kind of like those things. Like, oh shit, what's going on behind the scenes? Why did they get dropped from it? What happened? Um, and it, it's, it's all of the kind of behind the scenes stuff, and you know whether you care about it or not. Um, it's just been everywhere. Like, everybody's just like, oh, freaking out about it, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. like this and that, like, whatever. But the confusion. Just, yeah. And it's, you know, you know, to a certain extent, I care about it. Just to another extent, I just really don't. You know, it's just like. I, I can't, I can't really, didn't really care. When, when it was announced, I was just like, <laughs> meh. Like, like, okay. okay. I mean, it's Cause uh, it, it's it's not the first time it's ever happened either. I yeah. mean, uh, it, it's okay. happened with, with other past uh, Star Wars films and yeah. stuff, too, so. Uh, one of one of like the big biggest ones was the uh, the solo film, um, which had um, director and it was like pretty much already done and everything, and then they just straight up fired him and brought in Ron Howard and wow. like he reshot like seventy percent of the whole movie and changed the whole story and and everything too. So it was just like that's pretty wild. It, 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 yeah, so that, that was like one. Yeah. Of the, that was like one of the biggest biggest ones that that, that really got out there. Mm. Um, but I mean, even, even then, even The Force Awakens had its own uh, writer and director before J.J. Abrams came in, too. So, so um, let me ask you this: I mean, you have a son who's ten, mm-hmm. ten years ten. old. Um, what does he like to watch? I mean, like, does is he interested in like? Um, I mean, I, 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 I mean, we, the we just, U-verse was like uh, into the U-verse, right? Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was his like ultimate like movie. He we bought it for him after. It came out like on DVD and stuff because he really liked that one. So I mean, um, he's not really in. T- I mean, I, I know we talked about it earlier. And I mean, mm-hmm. I even asked him out there that if he watched Star Wars, he goes, "Nope." <laughs> you know, I mean, he's not really. I would well, say, what about like, like into that? What but, about the Marvel movies like you know Avengers? All that stuff? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. yeah, definitely. He's into that, and um, we've seen it together, uh, me and my wife and him. Um, yeah. So you're pretty caught up with all that stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Much. So let me ask you this. Um, the main studio that, that runs all those runs all the Marvel movies mm-hmm. is Disney. On November November twelfth, Disney's having their own, like I said, mm-hmm. Netflix style kind of service where you pay so much a month mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. get everything Disney's ever made. So that's everything Star Wars, uh-huh. everything Marvel, yeah, well, all the Marvel movies. Not even that stuff that they made, but oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but all the movies, all you know, everything they've made. Yeah. Plus shows like tv not you know, netflix has yeah, their, yeah. their shows or disney's having their own show so they have their star wars shows that mm. uh, they have one coming out it's called the mandalorian um and they also have um uh several disney uh, several uh marvel shows like the remember in um captain america the, the falcon and the winter soldier uh-huh uh-huh they're having their own show Okay, um, okay. Hawkeye having his, having his own show. Gotcha. Um, Loki having his own show. <clears throat> really? Yeah. So those are all shows produced and going to be released on his Disney Plus streaming uh, service. Mm-hmm. 
Is that something you think you'll get your son? Is that something you think he'll be into? Like that you and I think at that I think it's it's a low cost. It's not like it's like oh it's twenty four ninety nine. No, it's like it's like six seven ninety nine a month. Seven ninety nine. Uh, seven yeah, nine of course I would get that for him. You and for sure. Because, I mean, I think I would enjoy it as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's and, something that we both can watch. And m- most and of the shows, shows are going to also follow the um, the movies. You know, oh, okay. They, they so they're going to correlate with it. Yeah. So stuff. remember in um, Avengers Endgame mm-hmm. where um, they're trying to, steal, um, trying to steal the cube? The yeah. Tesseract. And they fail and Loki kind of takes the cube and he vanishes away. Yeah, yeah. The Loki TV show is going to show you what happens yeah. once he disappears. Ah, uh, you see, like stuff, stuff like that, I would get into. So that. that's and what stuff you're like getting. That, I would want him to watch it. So that'd be that, pretty that's dope what you're getting it. with this. Uh, today, Mark, sign me big... up. Sign me up <laughs> exactly. right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and right. you could, and you could, you could go I online. Got you down right now. for one. Yeah, got you. <laughs> right. The commission is being <laughs> split right now. Hey, Disney, we got you right now. Yeah, right? you know, but it's just like that, you know, I'm sold. I'm sold. Sorry, HBO, but Disney, we got you one right now. It, so. it, it's, it's that kind of thing, you know, like you know, because we're you know we're tuned into this stuff every single day, and mm. yeah, like it does kind of get exhausting. Just like oh, this this this, this cancel this cancel. Like oh, this is happening. This happening. Like you know, it's just like shit. Yeah. Um, but you know, like me, like. Like in the same thing, you know, my son loves Lion King. You know, he loves um, Aladdin. He loves the, the Pixar movies. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, all that stuff. You know, and yeah, I want to show him Aladdin, all that stuff. So I'm, of course, I'm gonna get it. And of course, like the, the all the Marvel and Star Wars stuff is for me. You know, like of course, yeah. You know, so and I'm and I'm pretty sure your wife is gonna be interested in yeah, yeah, too for sure. Um, you know, so it, it's it, it's it's really like it it's what they call now the streaming wars. You know, because you have. You know, you have one company versus another. Sounds like a freaking... And and that, 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 that was a our, shit show. That was our first episode, too, when we started doing this. It's called this, Streamers. It's called Streamers. Oh. And because at that time, that's this when... This is back uh, when this is all just just talked about. Now it's happening. Yeah, yeah. And because at that time, uh, one of the things that was getting ready to come out was the uh, DC Universe. This is what we, we were... We, it, it, it's an app. Uh, called DC Universe, where you could watch supposedly DC movies, DC shows. And when I say DC, I mean DC comics, mm-hmm. and uh, you could read, you know, the comics. And it's just, you know, and then like certain, oh, they, they were gonna have like certain shows like uh, Titans, Doom Patrol, uh, Swamp Thing, which got canceled right when it got released, kind of thing. Even before it got released, it was already canceled, which kind of sucks because the show's really good. And um, and then one of my favorite shows that that. They brought back for a third season, which was a cartoon, was uh, Young Justice. So, and that was going to be exclusive for DC, the DC Universe app. And uh, so, again, like you were saying, that, that's what, <clears throat> our, um, you know, streaming wars, you know, was going on. And, yeah. I mean, and then I think I like to think the main part of our show is like we we, you know, we come on, we just like we blab all this nonsense to people, and like hopefully they know what we're talking about. <laughs> 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 you know, but. You know, like I said, like, it's one of those things where it's just, like, you talk and, you know, you listen and you're in that thing and, you know, so someone else may not be. Let me ask you, it. because I know you know at least a few characters from the Star Wars universe. Uh-huh. A few. Uh-huh. Do you at least know who Obi-Wan Kenobi is? Uh, is it? A.K.A. Ben Kenobi. Um... Is he Luke Skywalker's teacher or something? Or? Yes. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. All the right. old guy. Okay. The older guy, yeah. Uh, so, do you know, um, <clears throat> in the prequel movies, he was played by Ewan McGregor. Uh-huh. Okay. So, they're, they're going to do a series where he's going to come back and repraise his role. Oh, and it, okay. it's going to be exclusively for the Disney Plus as well. Wow. And it's going to take place, what, six years? Yeah. Six years after. Wait, in six years or no, six, no. Oh, okay. Six uh, so, years after so, that. Yeah, after the, the after, timeline in the timeline in the in, in, in the, the universe. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In okay. The, in the timeline is going to take place six years after the uh, episode three of uh, Revenge of the Sith. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be right in between that and episode four, A New Hope, which was the original Star Wars movie. Wow. You know what I think we should do? <clears throat> you know how, how how I always talk about doing commentaries. We got to get Josh on the Star Wars ones. Yeah, I think we should do one. So what we're gonna do? A commentary. Yeah, one thing I've always uh, I've always talked about doing is um, we won't have the camera. We just have the straight recorders with the mics. Mm-hmm. We'll sit down, have a have a good selection of beer. Okay. Put the movie on. I'm already in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put the movie on, and we'll just 
But as it's playing, okay. just, we'll just be talking like how we are right now. Like, oh, shit, you know, like, and we'll just give our take on what's happening on screen. So that way... That sounds pretty dope. So that way, like, say you have a friend who, um, like, for in, you know, like, you have a friend who wants to watch uh, a movie at home by himself. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, download our commentary, and you could, you could uh, sync it up, you know, so that way... When you're watching the movie, you could have your us playing on the speaker separately. So with that, we're, we're like right there with you and watching the movie. Like, oh shit, you know, like you know. That's and since you've never seen the movies, I think that'll be a perfect, you know, thing. Yeah, 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 definitely. You know, be down with that. That'd be good. But um, okay, so we're gonna take one last break, and then uh, we'll come back uh, touching a couple more things, and we'll wrap it up. Cool. Cool. All right. Ooh, yeah. All right. What's going on, guys? That's Steven. Coming at you hot. Yeah. Uh, and uh, episode 32, Geeking and Drinking. Uh, what should we call it? I don't know. I always think of the, the title on the fly, so you know, whatever. We'll wing it. We'll wing we'll, it. Yeah, we'll wing it. I always wing it. Um, we'll wing it. We'll ink it. Yeah. Ink it. Ooh, <laughs> we'll uh, ink it. Ooh. Steven coming in hot with the titles. Uh, but we are drinking Carbox Car Croft Crawford Crawford, 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 Crawford. I can never Crawford Bach. Um, and uh, anyway, we're just talking about you know shooting the shit here about some movie news. Um, so yeah, and I, I know you know like I said we know we we we've uh, said it many times. You know you're not really caught up in the Star Wars stuff. It's all good. Um, so I just have a question. Oh my god! Why? <laughs> <laughs> why that is a big big question why? um i just never got around to it <laughs> okay like, but, he, but okay like he, nacho libre okay uh, but, when but, he's trying to baptize that guy okay, okay, <laughs> i just okay. never got around okay, to but, it okay okay you've but seen he, nacho libre but you haven't seen yeah. okay but but even even, even even with even with the uh old ones the the original three and then uh-huh. the, the prequel three why I don't know. I just <laughs> never. I never got into it. You haven't even seen the original three. None. Zero. Whoa. See, he thought he thought only the the last. The newer. That's what you told me. You like, oh, he hasn't seen oh, the, any of the new ones. Oh, false. That's false, right there. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen there. any let me, of them. Let me write that. <laughs> don't get us wrong. And Steven's trying to make you funny because he because you're not a nerd. Oh. How dare you, Steven? How dare you? But he is a drinker. He's not a geek, but he's a drinker. That's True, good. that's good. That's, that's good. where we, you know, <laughs> and he has seen level out. He has level level seen Step Brothers, so yeah. True, true. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I'm baffled right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were texting me earlier. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Say what? <laughs> I don't. I don't believe, I don't believe you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh nah. man. But it, it it like I don't know. I mean, um, it gives me a chance to watch it, and, that, and and yeah, that's that's good. And and, and and you know, there's always a chance that you may not like it, which is totally. I mean, like don't I don't know. Like I mean, based off of like the stuff that I saw of that trailer, I did like the you know the action and all that stuff. Yeah. I don't know mm-hmm. what exactly the storyline entails, but I mean, it did catch my eye. So I'm gonna put it this way. Okay, so if if you're gonna get into into the universe itself, mm-hmm. <clears throat> for you, I think maybe just 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 the movies. Um, okay. Okay. I think I've read. I bought a, a book from from one of my friends, and so I've read like one book. I read a book, and then uh, and then I know I know of. Uh, some I read of, some, one, just some, one book. Just yeah, just one book. book. <laughs> yeah, it's too much. It was a diary. Of, it was a diary of Frank, <laughs> and it was the worst. <laughs> and um, and then you know, and then can I get me, Anne, me, can me, I get Anne Frank tattooed on my on my on my hands? Oh God! No. <laughs> You're gonna have to add a finger. You're gonna have to add <laughs> your thumb. Yeah, yeah. Your thumb in there. <laughs> what? She was deaf, dumb. She was deaf, dumb, and blind. Anyways. <laughs> no. Um. And then plus we, you know, the, there's the, the comic books too that that you know we we also know of, you know the extended universe for Darth Vader, Bo- okay. Boba Fett's kind of characters, which you're probably like, I don't know who these guys are. <laughs> Boba Fett is the, is the big guy or the no? That's Jabba. No. Oh, Jabba the Hutt. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never totally mind. different guy. You're almost close because he was. 
Uh, Boba Fett did work for Jabba the Hutt. Oh. <laughs> such a nerd, right? He's the one that brought brought in Han Solo. <laughs> even such a nerd, right? Such, sorry, it's okay. Not. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> But he knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, so as far as I'm saying, you know, follow the movies. You know, uh, you, you so the movies are better to watch for somebody that hasn't got into it for, as far as for pretty much. Yes. Okay, okay, for, got you. Yeah, so, so you someone mean. someone that just that that just wants to know what kind of what's what's going on. Yes, the mo- the movies are, are just you know a good reference. Okay, but yeah, like once you get into like, the deeper stuff, like the shows, that's more of like. It, it references the movies, so that's why I kind of like people love that stuff because it's it's, it's more of a like little branches coming yeah, out. Yeah, it re- yeah, it really kind of expands yeah. out a little bit more. Okay, because um, <clears throat> for for me, um, I mean, I watched Return of the Jedi was the first movie that I saw, so that's how I saw I watched the first two. Uh, my son who who got into Star Wars, I didn't even introduce him into Star Wars. He oh, got wow. into it himself. He was watching uh, the Clone Wars on Netflix. Oh, and I, and, yeah, yeah. And uh, I was telling him, I go, you like this? He goes, yeah, it's good. I love this. It's like, all right. <laughs> and then I go, you know what? Here, let me show you something. And um, it, I forgot what. Um, it was on when Spike was still around, Spike TV. What? Uh, and they used to show the, uh, the Star Wars movies a lot. And I go, uh, I go, Estre, come over here. What? Uh, come look at this. Boy, and, get uh, over here. <laughs> boy. <laughs> and it was, uh, it was Revenge of the Sith. That's why he loves Revenge of the Sith. I go watch this movie and he's like, "What is it?" And he looks and goes, "Is this Star Wars?" I go, "Yeah, it's a movie." And go, "Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they've made movies before the cartoon." He goes, "What?" So he started watching. And that's when, uh, and then when he saw that that uh, uh, Darth Vader, he's like, "Oh my god, that's my favorite character." And ever since then, <laughs> ever, since awesome. then ever since then, he's always been about the dark side. So every you should every, be worried. Every uh, uh, right? yeah, because. <laughs> Every uh, when he uh, character he's dressed up for Halloween, um, that that that's a Star Wars character is always the dark side. It was uh, Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, and Kylo Ren. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm a little bit worried, but at the same time, I'm like, you know what? I like. The dark it's, side cool. Too. it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, movies definitely watch. Um, man, just. Can't, just can't it's just all good, man. Mind blowing, mind blowing. Nah, it's all good. I mean, don't don't let Steven bully you into watching Star Wars. You I jerk. Am. Ah. I am letting him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm gonna ink you right now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so I know Steven forcefully showed you to uh, the the uh, new trailer for the new series well, on Disney Plus. I, I wanted to see it. Okay. Just so to I can be in the loop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you for watching it. Right. <laughs> um, the Mandalorian trailer, uh, which is coming out on Disney Plus November twelfth, uh, which is the first Star Wars um, live action TV series, which costs like a hundred million per episode, just like movie quality stuff. What do you think? I mean, what do you think? That caught my eye. I, yeah, I thought it was did. pretty dope. Yeah, it's more of a grittier take on the universe, kind of like showing a side that like um, that was always there, but you never saw. Mm-hmm. And that's the kind of thing that just draws just drawing people to it. It's like you know shit, like because um, we saw the movies and the movie the, mo- the movie kind of follows one kind of sto- uh, one one particular um, kind of like or characters or journey, like you know or like uh, family. Yeah. Okay. So this kind of shows stuff happening on the side, you know, like here, here's your life and here's what's happening over here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, with some references happening. Because other people got to make a living in a uh, galaxy far, far yeah. away, too, you know? <laughs> so that's, that's what that's going on. Gotcha. Gotcha. And, um, you know, that's coming out on that streaming service, like I said, like, you know, uh, uh, with, the, um, with the addition of other, like, Marvel shows, like I was telling you about earlier, um, you know. So, you know, I... Next, I swear to God, we're not salesmen, <laughs> but you know, like that's you know, it's something that you guys are to- totally into. Your son's into. You're mm-hmm. into. And I, I was just checking it out. It's not really a lot of money, you know. Um, do, I, do the seven day free service, and then if you don't like it, cancel it. Right? <laughs> There's a free trial. There's your free trial. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, I'll check it out. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, shit. This has been fun. 
you know, for fun. sure. Dope. Hell yeah. And yeah. honestly, I, I, I really love your space. I mean, your space here. I, I love I love what you're doing with the place. I've, I've honestly tried to keep it, of course, like a private studio yeah. uh, to where it's homey. You can feel comfortable. Uh, we can crack open a couple beers. Okay. Talk okay. about it. You know what I mean? Talk about whatever you want to tat- get tattooed or, you know, have that consultation, have that personal, like... Uh, one-on-one conversation uh, get down to maybe even a personal reason why you want to get it tattooed yeah. and stuff like that and then actually have that same setting when you get tattooed that's cool um, man I mean, that's kind of what we do when we have people on the show we kind of like like to hang out with them kind of shoot the shit and work up a banter of like you know i'm comfortable with you are you comfortable with me mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay now let's no, that's kind of like when when i came over the other day you know? yeah 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 i mean honestly i felt that kind of vibe because look bro this is what we're gonna do we're gonna grill you hard all right because you have no, no star, star wars, wars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. i feel i feel the heat bro <laughs> nah. but don't um, worry about it because we're gonna have beer <laughs> I'm okay with that then. <laughs> but nah, you know but yeah, but, I mean, I but you're listening that. to some good metal music, so you, that's a plus right there. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah, evens out. It evens out. Um, but yeah, and I'm that's always my, dope. I'm making my pros and cons list over here of Josh right now. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping it better be all pros, dude. Oh. There's a couple of cons, but <laughs> I, I, think, I, I, think, I think I could get over to Star Wars what? But, or the game of, game of Thrones. I think I could get over to Star Wars and Game of Thrones, but I don't know about the Harry Potter stuff. Oh, <laughs> I've seen the first movie. All right, I've seen the first movie, right. and it sucked. <laughs> no, it was dope. I thought it was dope. Like I said, I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, that, that's I mean, that's cool. So I mean, like, like I said, I, I, I mean, earlier I was gonna say like. Walk me through the experience, but I mean, you pretty much did, you know, you walk in and you come in, have a few beers, you know, a bit of a banter, hey, you know, like, are you sure you want to get your wife's tattoo name on you? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, just honestly, just uh, one-on-one, more of a personal thing uh, with the space that I have, uh, so that way you are comfortable as a customer, as a client, and uh, hopefully as a future client, um, so that way... We can have that uh, artistry and everything, and it makes everything flow better. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think so, um, just from my experience. And uh, pretty much, um, if someone wanted to get any uh, work or art or done, or, 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 or contact you, it's uh, everything's on on your Instagram page. Yes, it's on my Instagram page. Um, it's uh, my cell phone number, uh, my Instagram, of course, that's on there. Um, and then Josh Levine for uh, Facebook. If you want to hit me up or schedule anything, um, I'm pretty open to whatever. Oh, also an email. Are um, you are you pre- are you more active on Facebook, Instagram, or uh, more along the lines of Instagram? Okay, uh, so, it's a lot simpler for me. And we'll, we'll we'll put Facebook too. But again, you know, I know we said it a few times already. But if you're gonna uh, if you want to search for Josh Levine, you're gonna uh, on Instagram. It's gonna be at Slims. Uh, S L I M Z underscore Inc I N two Ks eight nine. Yep. And again, we'll put that on the on the awesome. bottom here for yeah, the there'll be a, there'll so. be a link down below. Click that, guys. I mean, uh, hit them up. I mean, you know, give them all your business in the world. You want a tattoo? Hit them up. And I'm Go pretty sure here. you have you have a lot of your art uh, work on there. Definitely, mm-hmm. I do have uh, another way that you can get it uh, get a hold of me. It's uh, through Hard Life Rotaries. Um, I'm sponsored by them. Uh, they do uh, machines and then uh, equipment and stuff. Okay. Uh, so th- it'll have my picture on there, and then it'll have a link to my Instagram. Okay. So Hard Life Rotaries. Yeah, all right, man. Um, thank you so much for inviting us into your home. You're welcome. Uh, inviting us into your studio, giving you, uh, you know, giving us a little peek into your life, into your business. Um, you know, like looking at your artwork and you know, looking now and looking at your tattoos on your on you know on yourself. You know, like I and 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 rating our artwork on yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some bad ones too, guys. I have some bad ones too. Show us your bad one. What's your bad one? Hit? Oh, uh, it's on my butt. It's, it's on, my, on butt. my butt. It's <laughs> not on my butt. It's on my thighs. So I don't know. It's all good. Yeah. Um, sexy thighs. Sexy um, thighs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be the episode name sexy thighs sexy thighs um but this has been episode 32 of geeking and drinking uh drink and we are of course drinking carbox crawford buck go astros who cares about nationals they suck 
Um, it was a fluke. It, it was, was a, a fluke. fluke. <laughs> <laughs> they let him win. <laughs> Recount. Because um, the, the Astros knew how it felt to win their first back in uh, 2017, so they wanted the Lions shows to feel the same. So, true, yeah, true. Yeah, it, okay, it was a well, fluke. I mean, we got to give them that. We got to be fair. Um, Josh, thank you so much for bringing us in. You know, thank you to you, your wife, your son. You guys are so awesome. You know, I thank you, thank time, you. I appreciate a lot of that. Fun time hanging out with you guys. Your dog, your kitty, you're so cute. Um, <laughs> and guys, that's the show. I mean, we had a great time. Good, dude. awesome. Hit them up. Thank you. Thank Instagram, you. Facebook, links in the description. Hit them up. Get for your tattoo needs, for your, for your consultation, or just you know for hanging out with the pal. You know, we'll just hit them up. And don't forget to check out our uh, social medias. And yeah, yeah, our, yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Facebook, we're at uh, facebook.com slash Geeking and Dreaming Podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, we're at at Geeking underscore Drinking. And uh, be sure to check us out. And as always, like and subscribe, especially subscribe to our YouTube page. Damn, he nailed it. He nailed it. So oh, he yeah. nailed it. He nailed it. Oh, <laughs> badass. Ooh. Ooh. Because Eddie's usually the one to do that. Yeah. But I got it. So. I got it. <laughs> Guys, Guys, I'm Eddie. Steven. And Josh. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Peace. Crack is open. <laughs>